And again, a very good Sunday morning, and thanks for joining us here on Inside the Valley. As I said a little earlier, we've got a great show in store for you today with a lot of things that are happening in and around the Rio Grande Valley, something for you and your entire family. But first on the show, we're going to be talking about a very important subject here, diabetes. It is a growing concern here in the Valley with one in four people being diagnosed with diabetes. Talk a little bit more about it. Also a great event that's coming up put on by the RGV Diabetes Association. We have Dr. Audrey Jones and Olga Kautzonzi. Thank you guys both so much for being here. Thank you for having Good us. Good morning. So before we start talking about um, the diabetes walk that we have coming up here, which is on April 2nd, let's first of all talk about diabetes here in the Valley um, and the effect that it does have on the folks who do live here in the Valley. Oh, diabetes um, is a very uh, severe illness that happens to people. The problem is, is, is at first it's not severe. It's right. not like you have all these horrible symptoms and you get diagnosed. It kind of slowly builds in your body until some of the time people don't know they're diabetic till they have their first heart attack. Wow. And we see them in the emergency room and say, how long have you been diabetic? And right. they're in the midst of a heart attack and they're like, I didn't know I was diabetic. So mm -hmm. it's important to get your blood checked. Mm -hmm. It's important to get a blood glucose check. It's important to get an A1C check at least annually to make sure that you're staying healthy. So You'd mentioned symptoms earlier. What are some of those symptoms? Some of the symptoms of diabetes that are pretty common are excessive thirst, excessive hunger and sometimes weight loss or weight gain. Okay. <laughs> now there are several there are two different types of diabetes. There's type 1 and type 2. What, what's the difference between both of those? Type 1 diabetes is actually a failure of the pancreas. Okay. And it happens in younger folks. So is it inherited then? It, it, it we pretty much think both are inherited. Okay. And um, and so with type 1 you have to have insulin. Okay. Type 2 happens as you get older in your 30s, 40s, 50s and it is the beginning of the failure of the of the, the beta cells in the pancreas and with these folks we can use different medications Th those are the folks that get started on oral medications and uh, and some of the time they have to progress to insulin but not everybody does okay with type two. So, so you say type 2 is kind of a little bit later in life 30s 40s and 50s uh, does nutrition have anything to do with that lack of exercise does that have anything to do with it? absolutely because as you gain weight mm -hmm. you become insulin resistant okay and when you become insulin resistant your pancreas pumps out more insulin mm -hmm. and it gets fatigued it gets the beta cells die they and it and that's the beginning of of diabetes so mm -hmm. being overweight is a, a risk factor for developing diabetes now uh, you said some of the symptoms that you may have earlier on excessive thirst uh, constant urination what if you as you're saying earlier sometimes you may not realize that you do have diabetes until you go to the hospital and you have a heart attack uh, if you avoid it what, what would be some of the symptoms that you see before progressing to of course heart attack. Oh, you mean heart attack symptoms? Yeah, well, no, like what would be, you know, would you lose your vision? Would you have sores, aches, pains? Or? Um, some of the time with diabetes, you're going to notice that sores aren't healing. Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to, it, mainly it's the thirst and the, and the hunger mm -hmm. that, that you have to deal with. But, but sores that don't heal, vision changes that happen. And, you know, one of the, as it progresses, one of the things is you may end up with renal failure. Okay. With your kidneys not working anymore. Okay. So basically, if you are noticing or seeing any of these symptoms, whether that's excessive thirst, uh, constant urination, which could be like every 30 minutes or so, right. or, mm -hmm. you definitely want to go and get checked out for sure. Definitely. Oh, when a lot of people hear the word diabetes, they get scared, they get nervous, uh, you know, because they don't want to have an insulin pump. They don't want to inject themselves with a needle. Um, but as you were mentioning earlier, research technology has advanced so much that it is able to be controlled. Yes. Okay. Absolutely, it's able to be controlled. And you can still do the normal things that you normally do now. I know that there's a lot of athletic people out there in all different types of sports who do have diabetes who are still competing at that high level. So, you know, if you are experiencing these symptoms, you would suggest go get tested and you can still live your normal life. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now, Olga, let's talk real quickly about the <laughs> event that we have coming up here. It's put on by the Rio Grande Valley Diabetes Association. As I said earlier, it's going to be on April 2nd. Yes, sir. What's, what's the, uh, the idea behind this event? Well, again, it's to bring the community together and I'll dovetail off of what Dr. Jones talked about right now. Diabetes, although it's a condition, it shouldn't control you. You should control it. And right. with it come, mm -hmm. you know, the walks, the exercise, the movement. And this is one of the ways that the RGVDA wants to push it out to the community. Again, awareness, education, all that good stuff. So it's a great opportunity to get, get out there, hit the pavement, and support. 
RGVDA, and of course yourself, you know, yeah. so you keep moving, you know. But uh, it is coming up Sunday, April 2nd at Westside Park in McAllen, mm -hmm. and uh, the run or walk will start, registrations at 7.30 will start at 8 o'clock, and so it's a run walk. You don't have to run the whole thing, so yeah. you're okay with walking. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So um, this is a great opportunity for folks basically just if, you know, you're used to sitting on the couch, uh, eating those microwave <laughs> meals, uh, watching TV for an excessive amount of hours, uh, get out and exercise. You want to get the body moving, right? So that's kind of what, what the idea is behind this. Yes, sir. There's also going to be representatives out there from the RGVDA who will talk to people um, maybe about some of the symptoms or be able to give a little bit of advice sure. um, of what's going to be happening. I don't know that we also have a big event happening that day at the McAllen Convention Center. We know that this walk is kind of kicking off that big day, and uh, next Sunday we're going to have a special Inside the Valley where we'll talk a little bit more about that, so you'll definitely want to tune in next Sunday. Um, is there anything else about this uh, event that we should know about? Uh, what else people can expect there? Will there be nutritionists there? Will there be people who are kind of helping people with uh, nutrition meals, plans, or anything like that? Or I know that there's it is a, a community event, collective effort, so there are going to be a lot of representatives from different areas. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, I'm not sure yet, sure. but we are going to have a lot of folks there. Another important thing to know for us pet lovers, you can take your pets, but they have to be on a leash so they can join you for the walk. Okay. So it's not just for you, but it's also for your pets. <laughs> um, it is $25 a person or twenty or $250 for a team of 10. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And you're inviting the whole family to come out yes, uh, uh, yes. and support each other, yes. get active, have fun in the community. Yes. Um, where can people get a little bit more information if they have any questions about diabetes symptoms or uh, how they can get tested, where they can get tested? Well, there's besides your primary care uh, doctor, you can definitely contact the Rio Grande Valley Diabetes Association. Again, because we're a nonprofit organization, we're able to provide different types of uh, classes, mm -hmm. gestational diabetes classes, nutrition classes, all kinds of different um, sources for everybody that they can go and grab. Um, but they can definitely call the number. 956-782-1900 mm -hmm. and we can redirect at that point or help them find a resource. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Jones and Olga, thank you ladies both so much for being here on this Sunday morning sharing some important information for folks about diabetes and also about this great event that we have coming up on Sunday, April 2nd. We posted some information there on your screen. Go to rgvdiabetesassociation.info online. If you're on Facebook, log off, go there. Or you can call this number 956-782-1900. Again, I want to thank you both so much for being here thank and sharing you. some very important information. Thank you. Thanks. Folks, don't go anywhere on this Sunday morning. When we come back, well, you guessed it. If you love onions, you won't want to miss Onion Fest, especially this year. We'll tell you why when we return. Don't go anywhere.